Closer to home now, first responders warning Southland Mountain communities about the dangers of snow runoff with rain and warmer temperatures now and in the coming weeks. News Channel 3's Marine Bichot live in studio with a look at how first responders are preparing for that potential flooding from all that snow that, well, it's not going to last up there forever. Marion. Yeah, John, so just take a look at this time lapse video showing the clouds starting to overwhelm the mountains. And even though this rainstorm won't be a big issue for us down here on the valley floor, just how Haley Clawson just talked about, some of the mountain communities are at risk for that potential flooding. Snow that got down at lower elevations is going to get rain, which means that some of that snow could be melting and we could see increased flow. Southland Mountain communities still digging out from the historic winter storm now risk dangerous flooding with the incoming rainstorms likely causing heavy snow melt. Every, every time you, you start to think, you know, okay, we're, we're getting there. You, you check the weather and there's just another, there's just another something coming around the corner. The Federal Emergency Management Agency approved help Friday for dozens of counties, including San Bernardino. Incident Management Team Public Information Officer Amanda Muncy says they have about 700 first responders working in the San Bernardino Mountains. We have sandbag distribution sites that are set up around the mountain communities. Um, the residents not only have access to sandbags, but also sand that has been brought up. A limited supply of free sandbags will be available at San Bernardino County Fire Stations. If a lot of rain comes, it can absorb the weight of the water into the snow, and that makes it that much heavier. The weight of the water could collapse um, certain structures. Riverside Emergency Management Department also put out a warning asking people to stay clear of the San Jacinto and Santa Ana River areas due to flood risks. One of our big concerns is working with the unhoused population. So we make notifications in the, the riverbeds and channels um, where we've occasionally seen um, water rescues, people have been entrapped. Some tips for navigating the incoming rainstorms. Clear the snow off their roof as quickly as possible. Take your time while you're driving. Go slow, leave space between vehicles. Uh, check Caltrans website for any updates that might be available. The rain likely slowing down recovery efforts as first responders continue to help people affected. Make things a little bit harder on all of the people out there, but it's not going to stop them. We're going to keep on going and keep on going until we get this handled. So for more safety tips and food distribution sites, you can head to our website, KESQ.com. In studio, Mary Bouchot, News Channel 3.